Hi there, it is Jo from Minerva and today we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to do uh, French seams on your inseam pockets. You might find um, that if you just sew your pocket flat with the two pocket bag pieces together and you zigzag around the edge that your pocket won't last very long. So if you want your pocket to last a little bit longer or you're carrying lots of things in your pockets or you're putting keys in your pockets or something, then a French seam um, will give you a nice finish on the inside and it also lasts a little bit longer. I have a pocket piece um, which is my generic pocket and I've taken it from another pattern because I like the size of it, it fits my hand in, um, I really like the comfort and the shape of it so I use that pocket bag piece on all my other patterns if I want to put pockets in the inseam that will be inside uh, the side seams of dresses and the side seams of skirts. Let's head over to the table and see how we can put that together so that we don't get any raw edges on the inside of our dresses and skirts. It's really great technique if you don't have an overlocker. I'm making new look 6526. I'm making view A and I'm making it in a really simple solid colour. So this will be a day dress. This is a cotton chambray and you can see that there are pockets in the side seam, but because we've got these pleats that make the skirt feature, if we can make those pockets as concealed as possible and slightly roll them in a little bit, then they will really become an invisible pocket that only you know is there. The edge of the pocket, when you French seam it, will just roll in a little bit and uh, it's a really nice finish. So let me show you how to do that. It's all about seam allowance. You will need to cut four of the pocket bag. Um, quite often I make the mistake of just squeezing into my fabric one of these and then I realise I've only got one pocket. So make sure that you cut four and you will need to mark all of the notches and the marks for stopping and starting to sew. And those are important when you want to conceal the pocket. To French seam the pocket, you will need to put your fabric wrong sides together and pin in place. And I'm going to work in inches today just because um, that's what's in my mind when I do French seaming. I'm going to do a quarter of an inch seam along here to hold the pocket to the skirt. I find the whole French seaming process much easier if I use my quarter inch quilting foot because I can make sure that I'm definitely getting uh, a quarter of an inch and I've also got a mark here for three eighths of an inch which will be my final seam. So you might find that a helpful uh, way to get your French seaming accurate and not lose too much in the seam allowance and end up with an item that is too small. So let's sew a quarter of an inch to attach the pocket to the skirt. I'm using a lighter grey thread so that you can see what I'm doing but you would be doing this with a matching thread and you're going to sew from the top of the pocket all the way to the bottom so the marks um, that you have for the pocket opening will be referred to when we close everything up so at the moment you need to sew all the way from the top to the bottom. You will need to release the skirt seam below the pocket so now this seam allowance can operate independently of the pocket seam. Next, you're going to trim out that seam so that you've only got an eighth left, an eighth of an inch. And really good small tabletop scissors are perfect. If you try and do this with dressmaking scissors, it's sometimes a little bit unwieldy. So take away the excess, but you've still got your seam allowance protruding out below the pocket. Next, we're going to press this open so that we can get that nice and flat and we won't have too much fabric curled over. We're now going to complete this French seam, so we're going to bring up the fabric 
so that it is right sides together and just make sure that the seam is rolled right to the outside. Pin in place. If you lick your fingers and they're a little bit damp, you can really roll the seam. Normally for French seaming, you would now take a 3 8 seam allowance along here. That would use up your total seam allowance but we want to make another quarter of an inch seam allowance and that will mean that your pocket will roll to the inside and it won't interfere with your side seam. So another quarter of an inch, so from top to bottom. And press again with your seam going towards the pocket. You should still have that seam allowance free below. You can press from the right side as well. If you need a press cloth, go ahead and use one for your fabric. Cotton's fine on this setting. You'll need to do this on all four pockets. To fit the pockets now into the side seam, you're going to go wrong sides together again and match up your pocket bags. I like to start with the pocket notch. Continue pinning the pockets together. but we just need to make sure that we're getting this point here correct. So where the pocket bag meets your French seaming, you just need to make sure that those little seam allowance flaps are flat and they are sandwiched between the pocket bag. And you can pin those in place. Continue to pin down the side seam and we're going to take our quarter of an inch seam all the way around from the top of the waist around the pocket and to the hem. I'm going to trim out the seam again all the way around the pocket and when we get to the pivot point here we're just going to need to snip into that seam so when we get to here make sure you've got the sharp scissors because you don't want to clip past the seam line and you can then open up the pocket which will mean you can continue with this second stitch line Turn everything so that the right sides are together. I'm 
work out your pocket so that it's got a lovely curve and give everything a press ready for your next line of stitching. You're going to take your final row of French seam stitching from the top of the pocket around and down the side seam but this time you're going to take the 3 8 seam allowance that you need to complete the overall allowance needed for the size of your garment and also because you made this one a quarter inch if you make the next one 3 8 it will just pass the stitching line from when you attach the pocket and because I'm using my quilting foot then and I'm not using this little edge to get my quarter inch I'm now using the, the 3 8 bit of the foot to run along the edge of the fabric. So my stitching line is going to come up to here. I'm going to get to the pivot point for 3 8 which will just come past this stitch line. I'm going to keep the seam allowance on the front and the one underneath facing towards the pocket. And pivot. Here's a close-up so you can see the pocket seam is running here and then this seam is running down here and what it does is because it's not joining up with this seam which you would normally get when you put in a pocket it's got a little bit over an eighth of an inch over and that means you'll get a little eighth of an inch uh, concealment on your pocket. We're not going to clip this because we've gone to all the effort of putting in the French seam and that little eighth of an inch will ensure that our pocket turns out. You can turn this back through and press everything. The final bit is to secure above and below the pocket. So at the top of the pocket we're going to look at that marking that we've made when we first cut out the pattern piece. So there's a dot here and a dot here. So we are going to, I'll show you with a pencil, we are going to sew with a 3 8 seam allowance from the edge of the pocket and then make our seam and that means you'll get past your pocket seam and you'll make your new seam which will be your skirt and it should have 1 8 difference because that's the little reveal that's going to be on the inside and you can do the same on the bottom. It's a good idea to back tack, to back tack the ends so that your pocket is nice and secure when you're putting your hand in and out. So the last bit is to close up the seam around the pocket. So from the right side, you should have a really concealed pocket. On this dress actually some pleats go up to that side seam so then the pocket will be inside a set of pleats so it really is a great way to have an invisible pocket and you will see there's that little reveal that goes inside the pocket so that's what makes it really invisible I have particularly enjoyed doing the French seaming technique on this chambray fabric because if I had my two um, seams together and pressed them open, I would have quite a black 
um, set of seams on the inside of my skirt and because it's quite a full swishy skirt you would sometimes see up inside so French seaming the uh, skirt pieces together has kept it all a matte grey on the inside and it's also made a beautiful invisible pocket there's something you might try on a dress or skirt I hope you find that to be a handy technique that you can use yourself and um, don't forget you can put pockets in all sorts of um, different garments um, it doesn't have to just be on the pattern you can put a pocket in where you want to do head over to Minerva to check out some uh, products that you could use for this technique and also take a look at the inspirational makes from all of our Minerva makers and customers you can share your make so make an account with us and um, you can take a photo just be yourself it doesn't matter where you are it doesn't have to be a model worthy shot we'd love to see what you have been making post it up on uh, Minerva and we can all take a look and you'll get a lot of support and love from the sewing community thank you very much for watching do call again soon